All right, today, best of measuring salinity. You bet you think you know this, but there's some surprises in here, oh, yeah. but not with number one. Uh, the number one most popular as voted by you guys is what? It's the BRS refractometer. It makes a lot of sense, but right behind it is the refractometer that has the little LED in the lid as well. So you don't have to point it at a light source, which uh, was right behind it by a bit. I'm surprised it's not number one, given that that light makes it so much easier to see. <laughs> I kind of thought that this one would make this one irrelevant, but it's not. Uh, the three bucks matters. So this is the number one as picked by you guys. All right, in that spirit, which one of these refractometers is the best for those that are losing their close-up vision uh, or have old man-itis? Uh, <laughs> me. Uh, it is definitely this. In fact, it's funny. I haven't used a refractometer because I love this thing so much in so long. We just tested it. And like, it's, it's been like so long that I, it was, I used to have good eyes when I used these things. Uh, I, mean, I could easily read this one. But man, when I push this button, and it lights it up and you look through, you're like, this is crystal clear. Yeah. Uh, this is really, really, really easy to read. For like the three or four bucks that this costs, this is a no brainer. I think for anybody, you're in your basement, you're in a dark room, like, this is the easiest thing. I used to go to my windows, you yeah. know, and do this. Uh, so uh, honestly, I think this one should be irrelevant at this point, <laughs> right? because even if you're not losing your vision, uh, the little light in there just makes it uniform. You said something else about it that might make it better as well. Which when you're, when you're pushing on it, what oh, does it do? Yeah, so when you're uh, pushing on the lid of the refractometer, you're putting even pressure across it to push out excess water. And because this uses light and that water to bend light to show you what the salinity is, uh, by putting even pressure and squirting out the extra water, you're gonna get a more accurate reading and more importantly, more consistent than if you just drop the lid down, uh, depending on how much water you put on there. So I think for most people, that's actually gonna give you more consistent readings. I agree. I used to have to like kind of drop it a few times until it would be consistent. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the, the nature of the whole thing, the way it works, uh, I don't know. I think we should retire her and uh, bring out the LED. What about best for reliable, consistent, easy results? That is going to be the Milwaukee Digital Refractometer, which I am personally not very familiar with. Dude, it is so, so easy. Uh, in this case, it's the same thing, but instead of using the human eye to look for uh, through it and try to figure out which line it's on, uh, it just gives you a digital readout. One of the things though that we also saw today, which is this is by far the most reviewed of all of the different options out there, reviewed by you guys, and the highest review mean the satisfaction. Yeah, right? it had like a hundred and change reviews and like a almost five star, if not five star rating, which blew me away because it's also one of the most expensive options. Mm -hmm. It's like 130 bucks or something like that. Yeah, but people just love it. I gotta tell you, it is a, a luxury thing. There's no question about it. Like it's one of those things where you're burning a hole in your pocket <laughs> a lot of times bought like Black Friday time uh, or whenever it's on sale. Uh, but once you get like use one and you just put the couple of drops in there and push the button, it gives you the readout. Like there's no way you're going back. Yeah. Uh, there's just no way ever. This is the way you'll go forward. So uh, in that spirit, man, I'm sending home, you home with this one. We're going to convert you because <laughs> once, once you do it one time, the satisfaction is just one time. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Uh, so yes, uh, if you want consistent, easy to read results, uh, this is your guy. All right. How about best for cheap or inexpensive, but very accurate? That's going to be Tropic Marin's glass hydrometer. Uh, have you ever used a hydrometer? I have uh, one time and I had to fill up a vial of water and put it in because I could not get a reading in my tank. Yeah, okay, it drove me out of my mind because the first fish store told me to buy a hydrometer. And for those who don't know, it's a big tube that just like kind of floats up and down based on the specific gravity and then you can read it. I thought you did it in the tank uh, and you could never get the water to stop moving. It was impossible to read. What you do is you scoop it out into a big pitcher or something and then you float it in there and then read it. I mean, things like 35 bucks, so you, you can read it pretty much anywhere. I would say that if I had to w wager the accuracy of like one of these versus a floating hy hydrometer, I'd go with floating hydrometer just because there's, I think there's fewer ways to mess it up. Yes. So uh, uh, it's a very inexpensive, kind of a pain in the butt. All right, we're continuing the easy and if you got bad eyes, maybe. Uh, but uh, what is the best affordable digital readout? That would be Hannah's digital salinity tester. 
Mm -hmm. Now we're getting into conductivity. So yes. rather than like measuring how light refracts through a solution like these do, or, or even the specific gravity, which is kind of like the weight, we're now looking at uh, electron or electrical conductivity. Okay, yes, very easy. Dip it in, uh, push the button, and uh, reasonable accuracy. They yeah. state uh, below uh, 35 is plus or one, plus or minus one uh, part per thousand uh, salinity. Uh, if you go over 40, it's plus or minus two. I will tell you though that electroconductivity is the hardest of all of these things to do accurately and consistently. It's probably a lot easier in freshly mixed salt water. Yeah. than it is in a tank that's filled with organics. So you might find different results in the actual tank than you would in your salt bin. Uh, I would make sure if you're thinking about any of the electrical conductivity things, some of them do it a lot better than others. And uh, read the reviews on you know what uh, your fellow reefers are experiencing. It is no question. This is a lot. This is like half the price of this. It's in a much smaller form factor, and it's you can just waterproof. dip it. Yeah. Uh, but let's just own it. The technology is more difficult to do as accurately. All right. What about monitoring? Like, what if I actually want to like just real time monitor this stuff uh, and you know see it with my eyes? What it is at any point? What is the best affordable option for that? Well, the most affordable option that you can get is actually Hannah's offering, which they have a monitor that does, I believe, temperature, pH, and salinity with a little head unit, so you can keep track of what's going on there. Uh, it doesn't connect, connect to like the Wi-Fi and like tell you if it's off, but it will make like an audible alarm, I believe, that sets off in your house. So uh, if the salinity is off, if the pH is off, or temperature is off. You know, at least there's a noise going off saying, hey, come save me, uh, I'm, in, I'm in danger, you know, being the voice of the tank. Uh, so yes, a low cost monitor for, you know, it's like 250 bucks, I believe. And you know what? Uh, it's probably a good buy uh, because a lot of those things can actually nuke your tank. And if you only knew about them, you could solve it. All right, other end of that spectrum, best real time monitoring, meaning like now I'm getting it on my phone, I'm getting it everywhere. What is that? That 100% is going to be the Apex with the Salinity Probe. Uh, with the Apex, you can get like full graphs, you can uh, set up all kinds of different alarms or even execute different tasks based on uh, that Salinity information. So that's doing a lot more for you than just telling you a reading. I will tell you, uh, I've seen the Apex save the tanks here. Uh, we got 50 plus tanks here and usually it's about one a month. If you do the math on it, that may sound like a lot, but if you do the math on it, that means it's going to save your tank every few years, right? It's some goofball thing that you did. I got to tell you, though, in all these years, I've never had the salinity probe save my tank. So uh, for me, salinity monitoring of all the things that we monitor on the tank, just based on own experiences, like one of the more expensive things to do, one of the hardest things to do, and one of the things that has the least value for me as well. So uh, I'm sure the Apex team is like, Ryan, why are you saying that right now? But, uh, <laughs> it's just true. Uh, yeah. So I, you know, if it's really important to you, I will tell you there's a couple areas. We talked about one. One niche situation, yeah. yeah. Uh, if you have like a small leak in your tank and you know there's a crack behind, it's on a, going down a drain and you just never know it. Well, slowly now the salinity is changing yeah, because yeah. water is draining. Everything else though, you're gonna see it in calcium, you'll see it in alkalinity, you'll see it in like virtually everything else. I mean, when the salinity changes in the tank, I just, aren't, there's so few reasons why it would change dramatically that you wouldn't just catch like once a month from you know doing this. Yeah. You know? So I, I don't know, uh, it is uh, a more expensive, but man, you get graphs now, you get it real times, you get alarms, alerts, and you can even trigger events based on the salinity. All right, one of the problems that salinity probes have is uh, stability, you know, and it's actually most of them. So what is a good solution, the best solution for that? The only solution that I've seen, um, and it actually, from what I've heard, works really well, is VCA's SPS, or Salinity Probe Stability Kit, which essentially is a little uh, device you plug the salinity probe into, and then you have a cord that runs to a pump with tubing, and the pump can then blow water through the salinity probe, purging all of the air through that little airport that's on there, and making sure you've always got water flow over those conductivity monitors so that they can do their job versus give you weird false readings, which has happened to me until I shake the probe enough times or dip it the right way. Or... 
Yeah, one of the problems with these conductivity probes is they can be inaccurate because little micro bubbles of oxygen are on there or air. Uh, they can also from, be from organics. It can really anything can like touching the probe kind of changes how it reads the conductivity and in a tank full of organics that's you know filled with fish poo and uh, food and all kinds of stuff in there. Yep. It, it's just a challenge. So uh, what they're doing here is they're flushing it off essentially, you know, pumping water. Uh, if you're using like this is really really popular with Apex users, you know. So in that case, you do something like a PM up, uh, like inexpensive uh, yep. pump that plugs into one of the auxiliary ports on there, uh, and then it will just flow water through the little tube over the surface uh, of the probe and you'll get way, way, way more stable readings. In fact, if right now you're frustrated and you're like, ah, oh, man, my salinity just isn't as stable as I would like, get one of these things and that one news is history. All right, so Thomas, all that said, what would you use? I've been using the same thing forever and ever and that's just a basic refractometer. I'm so used to it that I just, I don't know. I, I, I just haven't put my lightsaber down. I think they're cool, but I think I'm gonna have a change of heart because after you, you pretty much sold me on the Milwaukee and that I get to take this one home. I'm, I, I don't think I'm gonna use my refractometer anymore. We are going to convert you. We're, this <laughs> very one right here is going home with Thomas. <laughs> uh, and uh, here's your little, check out uh, his shorts. Uh, Cause what he's done with it, he'll share his experience with it. Uh, and I give you full permission to say, uh, Ryan's insane. Uh, <laughs> I still love the refractometer. Uh, say what you will. Uh, but for me, for sure, it is this. You couldn't pry it out of my cold, dead hands. <laughs> All right, best of year solidity. But what about uh, RODI upgrades? There is a best of year, my favorite little clips. Also, uh, the uh, aquariums, auto top-offs, all of it, everything you can see right here in the best of year playlist.